drag the architectural into the graph, and I'm going to replace the Fong like so. I'll actually just plug into the Shadow Photon in case I was to use any kind of uh, FG rendering. I'll minimize the Material Manager. And if I look now, I'm not going to have anything that looks uh, spectacular, but if I open up the transparency, uh, we can take the refractive transparency way up, or reflectivity down. And we control the same index of refraction. So again, if I was to take the index of refraction down to 1.333, you can see we get almost the same uh, effect as our Fong shader, except we have a bit more control uh, over the viewing angle. So I could actually say for facing reflectivity and perpendicular reflectivity. So if I wanted to control reflectivity towards the edges, I could only have the the high angles of incidence control my reflectivity. As well as the glossiness, we can control how bright our transparency is or how crisp the transparency is by lowering our glossy samples. So you can end up blurring your transparency quite nicely. The architectural shader may be a little more efficient than the uh, simple Fong trick when you're dealing with things like final gathering. It's obviously a more optimized shader, but of course when you're dealing with uh, any kind of transparent effects, you'll probably find that using the simple Fong uh, with the incident shader would be a little bit faster because we don't have all these extra components of the shader to deal with, indirect illumination, ambient occlusion, etc. So I'm actually going to go back in and replace with the the Fong. Just wanted to show you the the options there. So I'm actually going to go into the Fong and I'm not going to use any of the frost and uh, samples, but I am going to introduce a small amount of reflection on top of this. I'm also going to take the index of refraction down. I'm just going to direct it myself a little bit, let's say down to 1.15, so I don't have quite the tight reflective kind of aspect that I see in there. Actually, in this case, if I leave it at 1.33, perhaps I can mix in a little bit of reflection. So I'll bring in perhaps 20% reflection on top of that. And of course, I'm reflecting the environment, so we'll get a, a nice blending uh, of secondary uh, illumination. Right on. So that's actually looking pretty cool. What I'd like to do now is finish this off by adding some more leaves to fill in the branches around me.